Welcome to Denver International Airport, a bustling hub of travel and commerce. But beneath its facade lies a web of secrets and mysteries that have puzzled conspiracy theorists for decades. Let's start with the artwork. Throughout the airport, you'll find murals depicting scenes that seem straight out of a dystopian nightmare. Images of death, destruction, and despair adorn the walls, leaving many to wonder. What is the true meaning behind these haunting paintings? Some believe that these murals are a warning of impending doom, while others see them as evidence of a sinister agenda at play. Could they be foreshadowing a future catastrophe, or are they simply the product of an artist's imagination? And then there's the infamous Blue Horse sculpture known to locals as Blucifer. Standing tall and menacing with glowing red eyes, this statue has become an icon of the airport. But its eerie presence has led many to speculate about its true purpose. Some believe that Blucifer is more than just a piece of art. They claim that it is a symbol of the airport's connection to the occult and the supernatural. Could this horse be guarding the gateway to another realm, or is it simply a macabre tribute to the wild spirit of the American West? But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Denver International Airport is its alleged ties to the Freemasons. Indeed, the airport, located in the heart of the United States, has been woven into a fabric of speculation, with rumors and theories emerging from every corner of the city and beyond. These whispers have grown louder over the years, echoing throughout the cavernous terminals, reverberating off the walls of the airport's iconic, peaked roof design, the intended image of snow-capped mountains. A significant part of this intrigue stems from a perceived connection with the Freemasons, an ancient fraternal organization, shrouded in secrecy and steeped in history. The Freemasons, tracing their roots back to the stonemasons of the Middle Ages, have been associated with numerous conspiracy theories, and their presence at Denver International Airport is thought to be no different. The layout of the airport's runways has drawn much attention. On an aerial map, some see the outline of a swastika, a powerful symbol that has been used by various cultures throughout history before being infamously adopted by the Nazi party. Others see the compass and square, a recognized emblem of the Freemasons, Hidden within the layout, the architecture of the airport acts as a canvas for the imagination. The Yepesen Terminal, a striking piece of postmodern architecture, unfolds like a vast origami sculpture, its peaks and valleys suggesting an encoded message. The tent-like structure, designed to mimic the nearby Rocky Mountains, is seen by some as an allusion to the Masonic all-seeing eye. Even the artwork within the airport has not escaped scrutiny. A 32-foot sculpture of a blue Mustang with glowing red eyes colloquially known as Blucifer, has been the subject of much speculation. Some suggest that the horse represents the fourth horseman of the apocalypse, a harbinger of death. In the terminal, murals painted by Leo Tanguma depict scenes destruction and rebirth, which some interpret as a prophetic vision of a new world order. The most compelling evidence, perhaps, lies in the airport's cryptic dedication stone. The stone bears the symbols of the Freemasons and references the New World Airport Commission, a seemingly non-existent organization. The date inscribed on the stone, March 19, 1994, when added together as per numerology, equals 33, the highest degree in Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Theories surrounding the airport have grown so prevalent that the airport authorities have embraced the speculation, even hosting conspiracy-themed tours. Yet despite the authorities' attempts to debunk the theories, they continue to persist, one after the other, each more intriguing than the last. Conspiracy theorists argue that the illusions and symbols hidden throughout the Denver International Airport serve a purpose. They believe that the Masonic influence is part of a larger, intricately woven plan to establish a new world order, a plan supposedly orchestrated by global elites. These theorists point to the Dedication Stone, with its cryptic Masonic symbols and reference to the New World Airport Commission, as hard evidence of this broader conspiracy. Skeptic or believer one cannot deny the aura of mystery that surrounds Denver International Airport, whether it's the unusual layout of the runways, the eccentric artwork, the peculiar dedication stone, each facet of the airport seems to tell a story. A story that is, at once, as astounding as it is confounding. The Denver International Airport, in its grandeur and mystery, continues to be a compelling subject of discussion, leaving us to wonder about the secrets it might hold and the tales it could tell. And so, we return to the beginning, back to the heart of the matter, back to the most intriguing aspect of the Denver International Airport, 
its alleged ties to the Freemasons, from the layout of its runways to the design of its buildings and the murals on its walls, many see hidden symbols and messages scattered throughout the airport. Some believe that the airport was built by the Freemasons as part of a larger plan to establish a new world order. They point to the airport's cryptic dedication stone, which bears the symbols of the Freemasons and the New World Airport Commission as evidence of this conspiracy. But the mysteries don't end there. Rumors persist of a vast network of underground tunnels and railways beneath the airport's surface, connecting it to nearby military bases and government installations. Some believe that these tunnels serve as secret passageways for the global elite, allowing them to travel unseen and undetected in times of crisis. Others speculate that they house hidden laboratories and research facilities, conducting experiments beyond the prying eyes of the public. As the sun sets on Denver International Airport, the mysteries only deepen. What secrets lie buried beneath its runways and terminals? And what do they reveal about the true nature of our world? Only time will tell. As we emerge from the enigmatic underground, we're met with another intriguing aspect of Denver International Airport, its mysterious murals. Adorning the walls of the airport are several large, striking murals filled with vivid colors and intricate symbolism. They depict scenes of global unity, environmental devastation, and resurrection, sparking much debate and speculation. Each mural tells its own story, but they are all connected by their complex symbolism. Some theorists believe that these murals are not mere artistic expressions but rather coded messages from secret societies predicting global events and changes in the world order. Images such as a soldier in a gas mask, children surrounding a knife, and animals in glass coffins have stirred theories of war, genocide, and mass extinction. The ongoing debate about the mural's true meaning and purpose has only added to the airport's enigmatic reputation. Are these murals simply artistic expressions, or do they hold deeper, hidden meanings? Could the artist have been privy to information beyond our understanding, or is it all just a wild interpretation of abstract art? As with the rest of Denver International Airport, the answers remain shrouded in mystery. As we move away from the murals, the next layer of Denver International Airport's mystery unfolds. Its unusual architecture. The airport's design is as unique as the artwork it houses. Its peaked roof resembling the Rocky Mountains or a Native American teepee is a marvel of modern engineering. However, it's more than just an aesthetic choice. The layout of the airport, with its series of interconnected buildings, has been compared to a swastika, a symbol often associated with secret societies. Others point to the airport's dedication capstone with symbols of the Freemasons suggesting a connection between the architectural design and this ancient secret society. The gargoyles and suitcases that adorn the baggage claim area add to the airport's uncanny aura, stirring theories about their significance. The debate continues. Is the airport's design a result of innovative architecture and homage to Colorado's natural beauty and history? Or like the murals, does it serve a more sinister purpose, hiding messages in plain sight? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Denver International Airport, we find more questions than answers. The airport's architecture, like every other aspect, remains an intriguing enigma, a puzzle waiting to be solved. In conclusion, Denver International Airport is a place of many mysteries and speculations. From its haunting artwork, to its alleged ties to the Freemasons, to its unusual architecture, it continues to intrigue and puzzle those who delve into its secrets. The airport's design, its art, and even its underground tunnels have been the subject of countless theories and debates, each more fascinating than the last. The airport is a canvas that tells a story, but it seems the story is far from complete. As we uncover one layer, another presents itself, keeping us on our toes and pushing us to ask more questions. The mysteries of Denver International Airport are not just about what we see, but also about what we don't see. They are about the unspoken, the unseen, the unexplained. And that's what makes this airport so captivating. Its secrets are its allure. Its mysteries are its charm. It's a place that invites us to question, to explore, to think. It's a place that doesn't just welcome travelers, but also truth seekers and mystery enthusiasts. As we continue to explore and question, the mysteries of Denver International Airport remain waiting to be unveiled. Whether they are a result of innovative design, homage to history, or clandestine messages, only time will tell. Until then, the airport remains an enduring enigma, a puzzle waiting to be solved.